Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to RimWorld. We are currently reeling from our encounter with a thousand cats, which we all kind of survived, which is, you know, a good thing. Um, I'm not really sure what my plan is today. I think I'm just going to let it keep going and see if we can improve a few things. Oh, a mad hair. Wonderful. Oh, sweet. Oh, never mind. It's gone. I'm thinking I need to improve the security in this place somewhat. Uh... Because here is is brilliant, but back here, bad. Because I think if we do the royalty ending, which is kind of where I'm ending to be, uh, like hoping to uh, to get to eventually, assuming everything doesn't just explode into flames. Um, well, I think we have to withstand an assault, just like you do with all the other endings. I'm kind of worried that we'll just get stomped. <laughs> But we'll see, we'll see how that goes. Oh, I remember. We um, we were upgrading the fridge, weren't we? Or the freezer. Because it was too bloody small. Ah, oh, God, the huskies are just eating all my food and drinking all my beer. This is a very awkward situation to be in right now. It's not healthy for you, huskies. On the plus side, we do seem to have a lot of food, so I think we're going to be okay. The baby llamas. I should do something about that at some point. We do not need this many llamas. I should be making more alpaca stuff. Alpaca wool stuff. Just to get the skills up of my people. Ten parkers? Where the hell did we get all of those from? I don't really want to make parkers out of leather. Wool if we can, or cloth for that matter. Just just wool. We have lots and lots and lots of wool. So mega sloth wool. Oh, you can you can shear mega sloths? Oh my god, you can. How did I not know that? Yeah, it's just heavy fur. That would explain why we have I swear I saw heavy fur in here before. Maybe this is the first time we're shearing him. Seems unlikely though, we've had outrageous. Oh, the Plasteel Longsword. That was for a cubicle, if I remember correctly. Oh yeah, he's in hospital, he dropped it. <laughs> had a little bit of an accident involving cats. He'll be alright. And there's Ryan's revolver. Ryan's still got gut worms. Uh, he's, he's not doing great right now. And he has food poisoning. Food poisoning and gut worms. What a lovely combination to have. He's going to be pretty weak for a while. Hopefully we can get him back in fighting shape. I hope we get some... Like traders or something. Oh, Ryan needs treatment. Of course he does, because he left the hospital. As soon as he leaves the hospital, you always need treatment. Seems to be one of those things. I think Sylvie's okay, isn't she? She just got hurt a little bit. Oh, uh, mm, yeah, quite a lot. Still need to get her one of those eyes. I, I have been thinking about doing some raids and things, but I'm not really sure how they work. Obviously you send people to raid and steal stuff. But I worry that, yeah, because look, there's a there's a hostile people just there, just down the road. We we could totally take those out. All those guys, the Squid's Mire, the grey monsters, they're pirates rather than uh, unhappy people. We could launch some raids, get them away from us. Maybe that would uh, stop them raiding us so much. I don't know. But I'm still trying to get people decent gear. It's kind of just a waiting game to see if I can get stuff to happen. Oh, oh wait, no, they treated Ryan. Okay, I was like, oh no, 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 they haven't. Oh, bugger it! The mechanoid combat cluster is landing nearby. The cluster will be initially dormant. Great, here we go again. Is he gonna land over here? Exactly the same place as last time. Oh, this is bad. A mech assembler. I mean. Mm, Bad or good, actually, because that could be a good way of getting quite a lot of materials if it just keeps spitting out mechs. I mean, we can kill them. I mean, otherwise, not that bad. What's that? Oh. 
I take it back, it's got a bloody great, whopping great big shield on it. That's not great. Um, gonna activate in 13 hours no matter what? Oh dear. Uh, and the, only, the, the auto charge turret is probably the worst thing here, but it, there is a steel wall that provides cover, sight cover, as well as like actual cover. So in theory, if I go up here, bust a hole in here, we should have access to everything. There is a, what, pikeman? Yeah, a pikeman and a scyther. We'll wait for Sylvia to get better. Or we can just send Cubicle, Cecilia, Trig, Ariane when. Leave Sylvie to sit this one out. Very powerful though with that legendary sniper rifle. Like a huge per percentage of our DPS is, is... Wait, why have I not been using this? God damn it. Good I, how good is that EM when it's shooting 10? Okay, I'm thinking what I'm going to do is I'm going to equip the EMP launcher on Ariane win. Which will make her psychic abilities not cool down as quick. But psychic abilities on mechs tend to be kind of meh anyway. Compared to like raiders. Okay, so now she has an EMP launcher. Which should be, in, in theory, incredibly effective against mechs. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait till we got like six hours left. I'm gonna make my move. How long is it gonna be till it starts making mechs? I don't actually know. Activation in ten hours. It's dormant. Maybe that doesn't start building things until it gets activated. But as long as we've got Trig up there with his with his plasma sword or lightsaber, as I like to call it, we should be okay. He is getting very good at melee combat. Oh god, he has got worms too. Oh yeah, he's missing his right eye too, isn't he? I don't know what is going on with people losing their eyes in my games. It's just not fair. Uh, why am I looking here? I'm actually wanting to look at... Uh, fire. Yeah, melee 13. Hmm... I don't activate 10 hours. Is it just going to stick at 10 hours? No, 9 hours. It doesn't count down. Good. Starvation? Not good. Oh, that'll be the gut worms, though. Maybe he got his sword back. No, he hasn't. Not entirely sure how useful a, a plas steel sword will be against mechs, but uh, two melee people is probably better than one melee person, so we'll see how it goes. Because he's kind of crap with guns. Oh, no, he's not. He's kind of like in the middle. He just prefers to use swords. Hmm. Maybe I should should give him a gun, but Ah, we'll work it out. Triggs up. Seven hours, six hours. Okay, let's let's start mobilizing up here. We're gonna all meet up here. Whoops, did I just accidentally I did. So we go go back to bed. Uh, let's meet everyone up up here. Celia and Trig. The main soldiers of the group. Cecilia seems to be the only one with a damn gun. I suppose Ellie Amwen has one this time. Oh great, wonderful, an alpaca is pregnant. Just what I need, more of them. I just can't believe the mechs are back in the exact same place they were last time. Realize these, these guns are not powered. Because I have them turned off. It is. Okay, maybe I'm gonna. Maybe I'm just gonna quickly turn these on. Just just in case we need them. Right. I need to run down here to here. Let's 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 give him a wider berth than that, shall we? I'm kind of worried the trigs kind of hurt, but you'll be alright, I suppose. That's not a very wide berth, trig. Admittedly, you do have a shield that does give you a certain level of immunity to shots. Right. Okay. 
How could this possibly go wrong in any way, shape, or form? I need to bust a hole in a place where one of those guns can't shoot at me easily. Maybe here, so we can shoot. Because that thing needs to go. Then the pikeman's going to come at me. Ooh, this sucks. Then the scythe is going to come at me. Let's just see if we can get their attention by knocking a hole. There we can. Good. Let's let's get the um, get the scythes and stuff around the corner. No, no shit's given. No shit's given. Seriously, no shit's given. You you don't care. You're gonna come down here. Come on. No. Ah ah. Oh, wait, where are you going? Oh my god, wherever you're going, you're going out. You're going full speed wherever you're going. Jesus. Oh no, coming back. Uh, all right, area man. Let's go over there. Ah! You recall? Okay, so EMP launcher takes a while to shoot. Keep that in mind. Never actually used one before. And... Got it. Ah, Cubicle just got shot. Oh, they adapt? Oh, are they the Borg? <laughs> oh no, there goes my... Uh, oh, that should be an easy win strategy. Uh, how badly hurt is Ariane when she should be alright? Bruising a crack, yeah. She's got like the best armor out of all of us. Um, I can't really send Trick up there to... Sh to, to oh, fine. Good luck. Good luck, Trig. Every hour when you shot his shield! You shot his shield, you moron! Sweet Jesus! Ah, he's lost his middle finger. How's he gonna flip the bird now? Oh, no. Okay, yeah. Yeah, note to self. If you're using an EMP gun, and it hits one of your friendlies using a shield, it turns off the shield. I am a master tactician. I hope you guys have worked this out by now. Damn it, can I not stand there because there's a tree in the way? Uh... I kind of need you to, to, to sort that out right now. Uh, no, no, not you. Is any of you designed? Can any of you cut, cut down trees? There we go. Good job. Why does, why does it keep shooting? Oh god, I have to do something about this. Uh, how does it take for a shield bar to come back? I'm thinking I could charge Trig up to that turret and take it out, but then I've got to worry about these things. The uh, the EMP launcher doesn't seem to be doing much. Melee attack. Because while he's sh while they're shooting at Eddie Anwen, I kind of don't want you to move. Oh, oh, oh dear. We're good. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, that's why it's shooting at the donkey. The donkey's self-tamed. Bad time to self-tame, dude. Bad time to self-tame. That's all I'm saying. Uh, how the hell with it? Actually, no, we'll wait for... Ah, damn it. Cubicle, it's your time to shine, mate. Go. Go, 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 go! Oh my god, we're all hurt really badly right now. Sweet Jesus. <laughs> okay, how bad's Trick hurt? Uh, he's just down from pain, I guess? 
And no immediate danger on Ariane when she's just hurt quite badly. Uh, Trigger's going to die in 8 hours if we don't sort him out. Uh, I got an idea for you, mate. Ah, run. Oh, well, the donkey died. Uh, <laughs> out of all the things that could go wrong there, the donkey dying is not the worst. Shredded. Oh, well, I guess we'll eat him. Donkey burgers. Yay. Jesus Christ. That was very stressful. Let's get everyone back to the damn hospital. Especially Trig, considering he's hurting quite badly right now. Be fine, mate. Sending out the huskies to pick up the sword. Or are you just going to eat the kibble? Yeah, then bugger off. Okay. Well, not. Why not? Is that because a lot of my huskies and stuff are not trained in hauling? Ah, uh, yes. That would be why. Oh god, there's just streaks of blood going through the uh, the base. Well, we have to make sure we get Trig fixed almost straight away. Badly hurt is he? Four hours. You are fine. How about you prioritize prioritize tr tending to Trig? We'll let Cubicle sort himself out. He's death in nine hours. Probably got to worry about that, but Trig is the primary concern. He's been hurt quite badly. There we go. We stabilized him. Ah, Sylvie's up. Hopefully she'll help uh, repair some people. No, you're not going to worry about tending to Cubicle? He did just put his life on the line to save us all. Ah, here comes Blubby with the uh, with the cleaning brush to hopefully stop all the infections that are going to happen. Celia, she, she also needs... We'll get Sylvie in here to... Nope. Yes, your ideas. Perfect. Are we running out of... No, we have plenty of that. Are we running out of... Uh, no, we got loads of that as well. Nutramine. Okay. Uh, we're just not making... We're just not making... Medkits very quickly. Or we're using a lot of them, which isn't giving it a chance to recover. Have we re rescued Trigg's sword? We have. It should have found its way to the armory. It has. Okay. Good. I'd say that was um, mildly successful. I'm going to go with mildly, not strongly successful. Definitely need to clear out a lot of the rubbish in here. That EMP gun was very useful. But it was also very slow firing. But I think it did kind of save the day right at the end because it stunned the gun turret over here. Ah, there's an exotic goods trader. Is he still here? Who is the talky talker? Will we? Aha, they are. Let's go. Uh... I have never seen this screen before. Cassie Othero greets Sylvie and asks what business you want to handle. Have I just pressed the wrong button here? Oh no, I did. I pressed Call the Exodus Empire. Never mind. I thought it was an exotic goods trader. I just pressed the wrong button because I didn't read it. I was like, hmm, I don't remember ever reading that, uh, pressing that button before. I didn't realize I could request aid and stuff. I mean, it makes perfect sense. How's the, how's the butcher's table still not been moved? God damn it. 
I guess half of the uh, half of the team is. Well, in fact, the entire strike team, all my soldiers, other than Sylvie, who was not in the operation, are in the hospital right now. <laughs> That's what we like to call a mission success. Mission cubicle? Hmm. Somebody... I don't know, he's sorting himself out. I'm going to say, can somebody, somebody feed cubicle? No? Okay. <laughs> Never mind. I need to put flooring down in here. Starvation again? Is that trig? Is that because the gut worms? Jeez, everyone's got bloody gut worms. I'll wait for that to clear off. Makes you chew through your food so much. Look at all those alpaca wool uh, parkers we have. It's almost like I had a plan to make loads of them to begin with. I need some traders to come by so I can kind of... Oh, hello. Empty my uh, inventory. Huntsman! Oof. Oof. I mean, you're good at shooting and you're good with plants. And I'm going to save you anyway because, well, you know. Uh, let's send... Ryan. Ryan's one of the quickest out of all of us. Because he's not wearing any armour. He decided he didn't want to be a soldier anymore. He downed his armor. Nice trick out of bed. Jesus. Oh, while you're out of bed, you want to go pick your sword up so I don't forget? Thanks. <laughs> I should probably give um, Ellie Anwen her staff back. That's right. We are replenishing. Uh, we are replenishing our stocks of medical supplies after this, after the cat attack and then the mech attack. We're just having a bit of a rough time, aren't we? I love the way everyone in the hospital gets pissed off when you walk in. Like, oh, I'm sleeping. It's like you're in hospital. The doctor's dropping off more medicine. What do you, what do you want? Oh, and gut worms is eaten through our medical supplies as well. Not the best. I get cl it's clumsy on construction. Once been recovered and decided to leave. Oh, I'll screw you, mate. I'm hoping I can get some new people. I haven't had any new people for blooming ages. Everyone keeps dying. We're too efficient at killing people. It's not a problem that I'd ever think I'd ever think I'd deal with. Uh, expand zone. I'm gonna blame Trig. He chops people up. I kind of think I need to flip these round. Having all of the meals in here and all of the the raw material. Well, then again, the raw materials need to go in here. Nice, oh, they're exactly the same. I'm not entirely sure why it's done this weird split. But, uh, oh. Well. Oh, I do need to get that light at some point. Oh, no, never mind. <laughs> Done. Get some flooring down in here. I'm not going to go crazy with the flooring in here. I'm, I might just do uh, wood. Wooden floor. Quite a lot of wood, I will admit. But I don't think it really matters. It's just so it doesn't have negative effects. Plus we have lots and lots and lots of wood. So, oh my god. Oh, here's all the mega sloth wall. Hmm, maybe I should do something with that. I'm not entirely sure what, but I'm sure we'll come up with something. Unfinished component. Author Agnes. Who the bloody hell is Agnes? Uh, oh, a caravan from Godos is approaching. Hi, guys. You want to buy some stuff? Do you like beer? We have a lot of beer. I 
looking at our food stores and I'm now going, oh wow, uh, yeah, maybe we're not growing enough food. Because <laughs> like when I started this episode, we had lots of food. And now I'm looking at it, we barely have any food, so... Maybe I need to deal with that. Okay, would you want to buy some alpacas? I got some really like... I got some alpacas here. Or a horse. Here, you can buy a horse. I'm just going to sell you the unnamed ones. Oh no, we're going to keep the alpaca one. Instantly more money than he has. Okay, well do you have anything I want? I'll take all your Nutramine. Uh, I don't really need your cloth. Ah, I will take all your steel though. Uh... I thought that was a gold leather shirt then, or like a gold shirt. I was like, oh yes. Slate poker table? Yeah, I don't really need a slate poker table. Contrary to popular belief. Um, I could sell some of the husky. Oh no, I have hiccups again. Why do I keep getting hiccups? Oh dear. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think it's really like when you record, they just sneak up on you and go, ha ha, hiccups, good luck. Human meat? Why are they selling human meat? Should I be worried that they're selling human meat? I don't really want to sell my food. I could take all their components, but eh. Like, because I could, I could also sell them, like, you know, or give them, like, 400 cloth, considering we have so much of it. Or I could upgrade, nah, I might save that to upgrade all of the, uh, the carpets in the, in the, where, in the actual place. In the base. Thanks, Brian. Uh, let's sell some of the bloody alpaca wall. That'll get rid of that. There we go. Just get rid of all the alpaca wall. And beer to top it off, maybe? How many of these do we need to sell to get to 900? There we go. Probably some other stuff in here I could do with, but... But now that will do. Thanks for the money, and the stuff, and the steel, and the Nutramine. Nutramine. There we go, we got rid of lots of the uh, the animals as well. I said I was going to do something and now I've forgotten what it was. Ah, upgrade the carpets and stuff in people's rooms. I may as well, if since I have so much... Uh, cloth. I may as well try and upgrade some of the carpets. I could change the outside of here to like an indigo carpet or something, or just like these hallways up here into an indigo carpet. Do you think that would look nice? I never really use the indigo one, hence why I'm thinking about using it. Uh, might look a bit garish. That's my that's my worry here. Oh my god! Oh well, there goes all the cloth. Hmm. Yeah, it's gonna. Oof. That's gonna be bloody expensive. Anime kind of wants to go like up here. One thousand one hundred and ninety cloth. Yes. Let's go. <laughs> How bad can this go? Oh, where are the animals? They are being trained. Might as well train them to rescue as well, the old huskies. I need to name them all, but we're getting so many of the damn things. That's probably where all my food's going, to be honest. The thousands of huskies that are walking around the base. Why did you just turn off? Oh, it's because you're re you're linked to uh, the, cl the closest power connection is up there, which is on a separate grid. Oh, well, that's going to be a pain in the butt, but I'm sure that's all right. I'm sure it'll work out okay in the end. We are coming up to the, the end of the episode, but so the only thing that's really exciting that's happened this episode is those mech cluster came down in the exact same place as the other one. We dealt with it okay. 
Uh, everyone's recovered, other than uh, Eddie Anwen, who is just recovered. So we still need to work on getting bionics. Uh, yeah, bionic replacements. This is something that I'm going to be looking at doing as soon as we can. I don't remember why you actually need to make them. After that fabrication bench. I'm guessing it's going to be bloody plasteel and stuff, so hopefully we've got enough of that. But I'd like to get um, at least basic eyes. I know Sylvie ain't going to accept anything that isn't an Arcotech eye, but uh, the trig, I'll just replace his eye with a normal one. Uh, replace his arm or hand with a normal, or like a replacement, because he's missing his fingers now, which is going to start affecting his, yeah, his manipulation and stuff. I could do with getting him a new nose, to be honest. Um, I kind of feel sorry for the fact that he's missing his nose. What is affecting his talking? Affected by consciousness. Weakened consciousness? Oh, is that from the gut worms? Because of the pain? Maybe? Uh, okay, well... Who knows, that's probably not a very accurate representation of what his stats looks like, but we need we need to fit him with new bits anyway to replace the old ones that got blown off. It's the least we can do, you know, he's a soldier. But I think this is where I'm going to end it here, so thank you very much for watching. Please like, subscribe, let me know what you think. Your comments are greatly appreciated, and as always, I'll see you next time. Damn, that is garish. <laughs>